is back on this little win book and I got them all working got my touch screen working so you're not gonna see a mouse or anything but uh, here's the little file and I put a link below where you can download them the little win book TW801 TW802 and the way I did it was any one of these that are yellowed out you just click on them and let's say like the audio here click update driver click the bottom one here browse my computer navigate to not this one but this one here and click OK and then click next it'll scan through all it find the drivers and then you do that to each one that's yellowed out and some of them will say uh, not signed and uh, just click continue and then uh, this little file here this touch screen settings dump that in the uh, windows slash inf uh, file under C windows inf dump that in there and then this uh, setup right here install that that's for the uh, little autom processor just install that one uh, you just right I mean you just click on that and, and install it and that one will say uh, dryer that's not signed or something you just click continue uh, installing it but uh, and then that's that that's how to get all these little drivers back and I'll put a link to uh, this little folder right here where you can download this little zip to get all the uh, drivers and that's the complete uh, driver set for this little uh, winbook T801 and 802 got all my drivers working got touchscreen working got everything working you see there's no drivers missing everything is working and that's the complete set right here battery management cameras and everything else and uh, it all works there's the system drivers and you just have to navigate like I said whoever which one you're going to let's say uh, audio again or, or this one you uh, click on it like that update driver click the bottom one there browse my computer and just navigate to this folder here and it'll find it you don't have to go to each of the folders as, as long as you click uh, include subfolders it'll find it and uh, it'll load up all your drivers and it's just this one that you have to go and click on this setup one right here you have to click on manually and set up the uh, for the processor and uh, get it all working pretty cool and I'll put a link to that